lawbreakers if I ever seen any. We got to keep this part of the country respectable and law-abiding, don't we? Sure do, Trap. Buenagua, Vero. A place for the thirsty horses to drink and for the happy traveler to stretch his pants leg. We stopped every place look good to you, Toro. We wouldn't make Sacramento by Christmas. Well, if we tire ourselves and the horses, we'll be of no help to the government surveyors. For the senorita. Buenos dias, amigos. A beautiful day for travelers to meet like this, no? No, and shut up. We're deputies and you two are under arrest. Say, what's the idea? They look like killers to me, Trap. Take off your gun belts. Caballeros, you are making a mistake. We are not killers. We have done nothing to break the law. Put them on your horses. I think they're horse thieves. Pretty nice looking horses. Yes, and they belong to us. That's what they all say. We'll take the horses. We'll hold them till the rightful owner claims them. Senores, we are the rightful owners. I am El Toro, and this Shut is... up. Senor, I am trying to unmix a mistake so that we can remain friends. Hey, wearing stolen property, huh? It is not stolen property. That was given to me by a senorita in Monterrey, and I'll give it back. Oh, you can now I... lose your temper, Toro. I'll never lose my temper. Cool off, Chili Pepper, before I put a slug in you for resisting arrest. Chili Pepper! See what other stolen property they have on them. So you can shoot us in the back? Now, who ever given that idea? We don't shoot our prisoners in the back, do we, Trap? No, not unless they try to escape. In that case, it always looks nicer if all the bullets are in the back. Maybe you got a point there. But it just so happens we ain't too particular where anyone finds the bullets. All those in favor of executing the prisoners where they stand without any further fussing and must say aye. 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 What could be fairer than that? It's the slick ears. Uh... shooting at us. Well, let's get him. You draw his fire, I'll get around behind him. Let's get back to our friend. And Toro always returns the favor. mysterious friend is. Only one, and he do all that shooting? Only one by the tracks. Didn't even wait around to be thanked. Uh-oh. Piece of a broken spur. He must have broke that off when he leave in such a hurry. Whoever he is, Toro, we both owe him our lives. You can say that again, Kit. That yell is like the sound a cougar makes. There's a lot going on in this territory we don't know about, Toro. Let's go. I find out the sheriff of this town made those kind of deputies on purpose, I think El Toro will be put in jail for breaking his neck. I think we'll find out those men don't have any right to those badges. 
Gee, wow, they're locking up babies now. Don't look old enough to shave, do they? They must be juvenile dinklinquats. Is there something you want? Oh, don't tell me you're the sheriff. By golly, if that's the case, then I've seen everything. Deputies who are bandidos, babies who are prisoners, and a beautiful sheriff who... <coughs> The pardon at all for saying so much. You are very beautiful, senorita. Uh, the sheriff is out. Now, if there's anything I can do you for you... You are not the sheriff? Oh, how unfortunate. Because you've already captured my heart and made a prisoner of my soul. Pay any attention to Tara. He can't help talking like that whenever he's a young, beautiful lady. I'm sorry if I'm not flattered. Oh, then we'll get down to business. My friend and I would like to lodge a complaint with the sheriff. I'll say we would. Two cutthroats have been riding around this country wearing deputy badges and calling themselves the law. We'd like to sign a complaint for their arrest. I'm afraid that wouldn't do you much good. Why not? Those men are legally appointed deputies of the law. If those men are the law, it's a good thing we didn't run into crooks. Now, if you please go and come back later, the sheriff will be back, and I'm sure... What that... sheriff in his right mind would deputize a couple of men like that? Maybe the same kind that would arrest babies like that and lock them up. I never saw such a dangerous bunch of killers in my life. What are they in for, murdering somebody with a pea shooter? They're a lot more dangerous than you think. Now, if you'll please go and come back later, the We'll wait. We've got a little time, eh, Tara? See, si, as well that, that sheriff is one hombre I want to get a look at. Hey. Do your mamas know that you're locked up in jail? Miss, there's been a couple of things that have happened to my friend and I today that we don't quite understand. Maybe you wouldn't mind answering a few questions. Take my advice and leave right now, without asking any questions. Now, do we look like the kind of men that would take that kind of advice? No, you don't. Don't you see it's dangerous for you to stay here? No, please go before it's too late. In all my born days, I never saw such a beautiful senorita act like she's so scared of something. What are you afraid of? I'm Kit Carson, Miss, and this is El Toro. You can trust us. My father, he has to take orders from Hackett. Hackett? He's the leader of an outlaw gang. Well, what does your father do? He's the sheriff. Golly, smokes, Kit, this is a situation. Why are these boys in jail? Well, so far, they're the only ones with courage enough to fight Hackett's men. Oh, sort of a junior vigilante movement, huh? They call themselves the Slickiers. Kate, it was a Slickier who helped us this morning. That's what one of those no-good bandido deputies yell out when the shooting starts. Better give them a quick apology, Toro. We call them babies. Men, I apologize. What are the charges against them? Well, there aren't any. Well, why don't you let them out of jail? Oh, I couldn't. My father would... No be... one could blame you or your father if I let them out. I still wouldn't do a thing like that, Mr. Hackett. Well, we'll see. That Tim Powers better still be locked up, or you're in for plenty of trouble. Who are these fellows, and what do they want? We're waiting for the sheriff. Get rid of them, Banyan. Well, I'm the sheriff here, but uh, you boys will have to come back later. I'm busy now. Well, wait. This is your sheriff. We got lots of time. Just as I thought, Tim Powers ain't here. That means the Sioux let him out. Sioux? Why'd you do it? Do what, Father? The trap and Morgan just got back from the North Road. And they said a slick here resembling Tim Powers took a shot at him this morning from ambush. There were six of these hoodlums in here last night, Banyan. Now there are only five. There are still six of us in here, Hackett. You must be having trouble with your eyes. Or maybe you never got enough education to learn to count that far. Well, you young whelp. If it wasn't you who fired on the law, then who was it? That's easy to answer. It was a slick here. You could lock up a dozen more of us, and there'd still be 50 more on the outside to take our place. For every one of you that fires at my men, I'll have one of you horsewhipped. And if any of my men get killed, I'll hang you just like any other murderer. Why, you impudent young... Banyan! Stay where you are, Sheriff. You too, miss. Toss him out, Toro. Senor? Morgan! Hackett will 
kill us for this. You better leave with us, mister. He'll be back in a minute with his men. We'll keep him busy till you get out of town. This is your alibi, Sheriff. You too, miss. If I sure nobody ever find the key, I lock myself in there with you. Leave those boys when they're in trouble. Let's split. Si, senor. Try that way. the senorito who gave me this. My watch runs like always, kid. It says tick-tock bong. All those in favor of going home, say aye. They have a chance to vote and they don't do it. What could be more fair than that, kid? Just relax, boys. <laughs> These slick ears. It's what cattlemen call a young calf. So young its ears are still wet. If those young fellas we help today are still wet behind the ears, I hope they never get mad at me when their ears get dried out. Well, right now, they're mad at someone else. Let's go have a talk with them. Maybe you'd left the country. Uh, not until we get a few things straightened out first. Then you'll help him? That's the general idea, my young kid friend. There's an old deserted barn we use as a hideout. Come on. Fellas, I want you to meet Kit Carson and El Toro. It's babies. Howdy, fellas. They're willing to help us clean up Hackett's gang. Don't include me, Ed. I'm not so sure. Sometimes I think I'm a little too old, maybe, for these kind of games. Maybe too much kid stuff. Kid stuff? Oh, don't pay any attention to Toro. He thinks you're great. Well, just the same. I'm not joining up with any Slickies organization tonight. That's our leader. I thought you were the leader. I'm sorry I'm late, Tim. You are the leader of the slick years? Is there anything wrong with that? No, no, there's nothing wrong with that, senor. It is just that El Toro cannot wait any lower to join this fine organization. Any time we can make trouble for Hackett's men, we're glad to. But we need more guns and ammunition. I see what you mean. Maybe you can get them for us, Kit. Wow, well, it doesn't seem right for just kids to do all this fighting. We're not just kids. There's a more immediate problem than fighting Hackett's men. Today, Hackett had my father lock the water fund money in the office safe. Water fund? Money the ranchers raised to bring water onto their land. Hackett has ordered my father to offer no resistance when two masked hold-up men rob him tomorrow. That is very interesting. What time is this hold-up supposed to take place? At two in the afternoon. You get his guns and bullets, Kit. We'll take care of Hackett's gang. Oh, not yet, Tim. I'd like to try a different plan. I'll tell you what we'll do. You're mighty early, ain't you? It's the only bird that catches the dinero, Sheriff. Open that safe like Hackett told you. Yeah, I know you two. You're not Hackett's men. You're the two armies let those slick ears out of jail yesterday. Open that safe. All right. 
Well, you didn't have to be that ready. It ain't just Banyan's idea. The money's gone. Well, where is the money? What happened here? Come on, we got to tell Hackett. Maybe it was worth losing that money to find out that it was Sue that's been taking the slickers their information. Want me to take care of her? Nope. Not until she rides out to her friends with the story she's going to hear about a certain money shipment. And the $10,000 will be in the strong box on Wednesday stage. I heard Hackett telling my father how his men were planning to hold up that stage at Oak Tree Rock. This looks like another job for you and me, kid. We do the first one so easy, the second time will be like, poof. The money will be in the strong box, eh? Mm -hmm. This is what we'll do. The next person that opens this will have quite a surprise in store for him. This revolver is clamped to the lid, loaded with a blank. This string runs from the trigger through this eye into a little hook down there. Hand me that gunpowder. Now then, the next person that opens this, the revolver fires into the gunpowder, and instead of finding $10,000, they discover the explosive power of 25 pounds of gunpowder. Well, that's pretty smart, Hackett. Why do you suppose those riders follow the stage kit? I don't know. They sure could spoil our play. You think you could get that strong box by yourself? As easy as eating pumpkin tortilla. Well, maybe it would be easier for you if I helped. Out better than I expected. There will be no trouble, my friends. Toss away your guns and throw down this strong box. It's only the end. Now you may continue with your journey and do not look back. The other money into Hackett and his men are no more. Come on, fellas, let's get to work and get this open. I checked the stage, Hackett. This guy's friend took off the strong box, all right. Good. 
Now, let's just hope he doesn't open it until he gets with the slick ears. What about the strong box, Hackett? Now, you just never mind. Supposing you get aboard that horse and stop asking questions. So you plan for us to rob that stagecoach, huh? That's right. Oh, I nearly forgot. Thanks. What was in that strong box? Gunpowder. Enough gunpowder to blow away the side of a mountain. And all set to go off the moment the lid is open. Sheriff, your daughter will be one of the people that will open that strong box. No. No, that can't be. When I left her, she was with the slick ears waiting for El Toro to return with it. We gotta stop her. Shut up. That's all your fault, Haggard. I... Wait a minute. As long as Sue found out about the money, let her have the honor. Hold it! I got that to blow you all the kingdom country. Are you loco or something? Give me your gun. I'm afraid I broke it up when I tried to open the box. No more shells for this. The rest of your weapons won't do us any good. They're here. Think of something, kiddo. We'll be killed up like fishes in a barrel. Give me a hand. Give me a rope, Tim. Cut me about four feet. They're in there, all right. I can hear them. Hey, you in there. Surrender and come out with your hands up. Out the back way. Behind that rock. Come on in and get it. All right. Open it up. Today, I feel the whole world is sad. All right, don't worry, Toro. Tim will look after Sue for you. That's the kids look after the senorita. Kid stuff. Oh, by the way, Toro, that reward was on Hackett. See, si, amigo, the reward. Maybe we can spend my share in Monterrey, no? Uh-uh. I gave both our shares to the slickers. Oh, kid, you didn't. Uh-huh. They promised to put away their guns and build a clubhouse. As I said before, today, the whole world is sad. Poor son of my mother. Pobre el toro. Well, we go to work for the army now. <laughs> <laughs> 